Drum, Celtic Ravens, for Diane Kirby. Here I am tracing a watercolor that I did several years ago. It had the perfect line drawing of two ravens perched in a tree. It's always a good idea to protect your work by having something underneath your drawing hand to stop you from smudging your lines and stuff. modified my original design a little bit. There was a background of trees and mountains. For the drum I just wanted a very simple composition of the two ravens and a branch. Here comes Bilbo, my kitty. It's a good idea to check your tracing, so I just lift my paper up to have a look. Here I'm dividing my circle up into sections so that I can have even sections for when I design my Celtic knots around the outside edge. just using some stencils to figure out the size of my knots that I'm going to be designing. I also used some French curve stencils which are fun to play with. Celtic knots. And these are an original design. I'm not drawing what you see on my phone there. I'm making up my own thing. photographing my Celtic knot design thinking that I would freehand draw them all, but that didn't work out. trouble with the angle of that little leaf that sticks out into the middle. I just couldn't figure out for a while how to make it consistent all the way around. But then later I realized I just had to trace it onto some separate paper and lay that underneath and then go around and use that template for every single knot. That worked like a charm.
and now I'm finished going all the way around with my Celtic knots, so I'm tidying up all my stencils. Time to move on to the drum. I'm using graphite paper here to transfer my design from the tracing paper to the drum leather. And I'm using a red pencil to go over the lines so I can see which ones I've covered and which ones still need to be done. And now I can take off the tracing paper and the graphite paper and my design is transferred. I decided that I wanted the Celtic knots to be the border for all of the artwork so I erased everything that was outside those lines. Here I decided to switch pens as I discovered that the one I had wasn't working very well. I'm using a Pigma brush pen here. I looked them up online and it said that they're light fast and permanent ink, so I'm really hoping that they stain the leather well enough that, they, that the uh, drawing will last a long time. I was listening to a lot of Celtic music while I did this, and I was singing, so I think it's a good thing I turned the volume off. <laughs> Later I modified the beak on this raven because it kind of looked like a seagull and I didn't like that. At this point the project started to feel like playing with a coloring book that I made myself. 
which is really pleasing if you think about it. You make your own design and then you color it in. It's fun. I'm leaving tiny little gaps between each shape. It's like a thin line of white, and it was really tricky to do. It took a lot of concentration.
coming to the finish line here. I'm just about done. I gave this drum to my colleague to celebrate her retirement. I hope she loves it. Thanks for watching.